Hey guys, it's Connor and today I'm going to show you a free way to denoise your footage in Adobe Premiere Pro. I always want to give you guys the best information, so I've got two really important disclaimers before we get started. The first is that this is a free method and you get what you pay for. This is not the best way to denoise your footage, but in a pinch it'll definitely get the job done. If you can, I really recommend buying a paid plugin that's dedicated for noise removal, something like Neat Video or Red Giant's Denoiser to get much better results and a lot more control over the final result. The second thing is that you can consider this video part one of two. Today we're talking about a tool that you can use to denoise your footage, but next week we're gonna talk about a method, an approach to improve your denoising no matter what tool you're using. It's a way that we can get rid of the noise in our shadows without losing any sharpness, without losing any detail in our subject. And I know that sounds too good to be true, but that's exactly why I'm so excited to share it with you. So make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell icon to make sure that you hear about that video first and you can watch it next week. I've got some footage here from a music video that I shot and it's a pretty clean image. We can zoom in all the way to 400% and this is totally fine. This is not an amount of noise that would bother me. But let's say we wanted to get the cleanest image possible, then we're gonna go ahead and denoise that. If you go over to the effects tab and you type in VR, you're gonna see a lot of VR effects pop up. We're gonna go ahead and grab the VR denoise and we're gonna drag that onto our footage. The default settings on this effect are way too extreme for normal use, so we're gonna drop this back a ton. I like to click on this little drop down arrow just to make it easier to make fine adjustments, but I find most of the time I'm using a setting of 0.02 on this to get a good effect. Now if I zoom in to 400%, and I look at our shadows here, they're very clean. And if I turn this off, we get some of that noise back. Again, it's not a ton, but if we want it perfectly clean, this is definitely getting us there. Now, because of YouTube's compression, you guys probably can't see this, but I am losing some detail here, especially in areas like his hair. And I wanna keep as much sharpness and detail in my image as possible. But that's the trade-off when you're denoising, especially using a free method that doesn't give you a lot of control over how that process is done. Now I know I said that in part two, I'm gonna show you a way around that exact problem. But again, you're gonna have a lot better of a result if you combine that method with a professional paid plugin instead of combining it with this free one that doesn't give you a lot of control. There's not always the budget for that, but at least now you know there is a free option if you're in a pinch. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I'm more than happy to help you out. And if you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate you helping me back by liking and subscribing for more content like this. Don't forget to come back next week to see how we can make this even better. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.